Welcome to Introduction to Accounting, Preparing for a User's Perspective. Liquidity Ratios, Quick Ratio, Working Capital, Cash Conversion Cycle. Liquidity Ratios, Quick Ratio. To address some of the failings of the current ratio, the finance industry developed another liquidity ratio called the Quick Ratio, also known as the Quick Assets Ratio or the Acid Test Ratio. The Quick Ratio is a stricter, more conservative test of a company's true liquidity because it removes inventory from current assets in the numerator of the ratio. Inventory is left out of the calculation because it can often take many months to convert into cash and is much less liquid than other current assets. It then uses the remaining more liquid current assets to cover all of its current liabilities. The quick ratio is computed as follows. Current assets less inventories divided by current liabilities. Let's compute LAC's quick ratios for 20x1 and 20x2. As you can see, we've only highlighted the most liquid current assets leaving out inventory, and we have all current liabilities. For 20x1, the computation is $32,000 of most liquid current assets divided by $23,000 of current liabilities. For 20x2, it's $41,000 divided by $17,000. As you can see, in 20x2, the company is more liquid than it was in 20x1. What does the quick ratio tell us and what does it not tell us? The 20x2 quick ratio of 2.41 indicates that LAC's most liquid assets should be readily able to provide $2.41 of cash to help it pay off each $1 of cash demanded by its current liabilities. LAC appears to be very liquid in 20x2. By taking inventory out of the quick ratios numerator, we are able to eliminate the cash flow timing issues brought on by inventories. However, because the quick ratio still includes accounts receivable, whose true future collection date is not perfectly known, the quick ratio will always just be an estimate of a company's liquidity. In the biz stats table for the dairy products industry above, the average quick ratio was 0.14 compared to the average current ratio of 0.71. Because the dairy industry's quick and current ratios are so different, it appears that a significant amount of the dairy industry's current assets are tied up in inventory. If you are interested in learning more about the quick ratio, feel free to watch the investopedia.com video titled, What is the Quick Ratio? Liquidity Ratios Working Capital Similar to the current and quick ratios, Another means of assessing a company's liquidity is to compute its working capital. Working capital is the difference in amount between a company's current assets less its current liabilities. A quick analysis of LAC's balance sheet shows that its working capital was $26,000 in 20x1. We take $49,000 in current assets less its $23,000 in current liabilities and $31,000 in 20x2. $48,000 of current assets less $17,000 in current liabilities. Working capital indicates a company's liquidity as well as its efficiency. Liquidity indicating its ability to pay its short-term debts as they come due, and efficiency indicating that it chooses to invest the excess current assets. What does working capital tell us and what does it not tell us? Working capital is widely used in finance even if, like the current and quick ratios, it is an imperfect measure of liquidity. A working capital of less than zero indicates the company could struggle paying off its current liabilities when they come due. Large working capital amounts may indicate that the company is not investing its excess current assets to generate more income. Healthy liquid companies should be able to avoid having to sell off their long-term assets such as vehicles, equipment, manufacturing plants, buildings, jumbo jets, to make their current liability payments. Because if they sell their long-term assets, they often reduce the company's ability to support operations and generate profits. For example, an airline that has to sell off its airplanes to pay its short-term creditors will have a tough time selling flights. This is probably a big reason why most airlines do not buy their planes but rather lease them. Some analysts warn that users should not focus too much on working capital because, as with the current ratio, it does not tell the whole story of a company's liquidity and related timing of cash flows. I agree, which brings up the cash conversion cycle. Liquidity ratios, cash conversion cycle. Although working capital is an interesting and valuable number, users of financial statements need to look even deeper into a company's financial statements using the cash conversion cycle to really understand its liquidity risk. The cash conversion cycle relies on numbers from both the balance sheet and the income statement, such as days of inventory outstanding, 
days sales outstanding, and days payables outstanding. We will not discuss here how these days outstanding ratios are computed, but these three numbers, days of inventory outstanding, days sales outstanding, less days payables outstanding, effectively indicate the number of days between when inventory is purchased, then sold, plus the number of days it takes to receive payment on the sale, less the number of days the company takes to pay for the inventory it purchased. So what does the cash conversion cycle tell us? The cash conversion cycle is another helpful tool in indicating a company's true liquidity. The longer the cash conversion cycle, the less liquid the company is. The cash conversion cycle formula was created to address the weakness of the other ratios in that they mistakenly assume that current assets will be converted to cash evenly and that current liabilities will be paid off evenly. The cash conversion cycle should be considered along with a company's current ratio, quick ratio, and working capital to better assess a company's liquidity. Summary. The following liquidity ratios can help users assess a company's liquidity, which is its ability to pay its current liabilities within the next year as they come due. To assist you in assessing a company's liquidity, you should learn the names, computations, and interpretations of all these ratios. That's it for our liquidity ratios. Quick ratio, working capital, cash conversion cycle. Good luck on the quiz.